in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set trailing stop loss in Binance Spot. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly use and set up a trailing stop loss order. So, in order to do this on Binance, you will be using your order panel. As you can see in this image, I have a general example on how this works. Keep in mind that for this video I'm not going to go super in depth about the logic behind this and how to optimize this order. I'm just going to teach you how to do it but I'm still going to refer you to specific places where you will be able to get more information and educate yourself. So all that you have to do is in the order panel make sure that you choose bot and when you select it from here you will be able to select trailing stop on the list. When you choose trailing stop, you will be able to set up all of these details. So stop, limit, amount, and total. When you input all of these details, you will see a message like this. I'm just skipping ahead to give you a general idea on how this is going to work. So you will have all of the information that you input and the description is going to explain how this is going to work. When the price reach reaches this price that you set up, the order will be activated. If the price drops by a certain percentage that you set up from the highest price, a limit order selling a specific amount of Bitcoin at this price will be submitted to the order book. The executed price may not be equal to the amount in USDT. Like I said, for this video, I'm just going to give you instructions on how to properly set up the order. So you go to the spot, you choose this option here on the market, and you select trailing stop from the drop down menu. Afterwards, you input all of those details. If you want to learn how to properly use it and the logic behind this, how to optimize it, there are plenty of guides out there, including this one officially written by Binance. So on the official Binance website, you also have an explanation on how to best utilize this tool. Because of the nature of this video being fast, quick, I cannot stop to give you too much detailed instructions. It is a topic that is hard to cover on a video of this nature, so I highly recommend doing your own research if you would like to learn more. I hope I was able to help you on how to set trailing stop loss in Binance Spot. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.